I'm so I have to make this face. I literally have to. Sorry. Long time no makeup video, oh my god. Today I thought it was finally time for a new like daily updated makeup uh, routine and a little bit of a skincare goodies as well because actually this video is done in collaboration with Basic, which if you are not aware of that yet, hi, my name is Yusul, because then you probably don't know me well because this is one of my favorite Korean vegan skincare brands. But the reason why we've decided to partner up is because Basic is being launched in Sephora now here in Korea. So if you're in Korea, you can now buy their products in Sephora stores, which is very nice. By the end of this video, you will see me going to a Sephora store, saying congratulations to the owner and, you know, just having a little chat with a Sephora worker as well, checking out some products. Now I got a new camera. Is it obvious? Does it look good? Can you see all my pores? <laughs> I'm first gonna apply this basic treatment lotion. Um, this is actually a lotion slash toner slash serum, I suppose. And it is one of the best sellers. And actually, I really love it. So nice. Has such a like a fresh scent, like very natural. Mm. It's moisturizing and very lightweight and feels really cooling on the skin very comfortable. Then I'm going to go in with the basic regenerating oil which is one of my favorite oils and this is such a good formula. Mm. So if you guys are interested in these two products, Basic has also an English website where you can buy it all e commerce You don't have to live in Korea and visit a Sephora in order to get them. There's also a little uh, duo set deal. So if you want both of these products, you can get them um, together for a cheaper price. So that's really nice. They ship worldwide. Plus they have a special event thing going on right now on the website where you can get a free Echo bag. I just received one as well. It has this like cute small little size. So you'll get that for free with any orders there. And be sure to like, in general, just check out the website because they have a lot of ongoing events there so you can win stuff and join contests and I suppose a lot more events, which is really cool. Now let's go on to the makeup part of this video. The next product that I'm going to go in with is this Sun Protect Shimmer Sun Essence. I mentioned this a few weeks ago in one of my vlogs where I like reviewed a lot of Korean vegan skincare products and I have only had a chance to use it a few times because honestly, haven't been out much these days until like two days ago it has been raining every single day for like a month it's insane this product also has some spf in it so that is just perfect you both get like a primer and a sunscreen in one air break please god my boobs are sweating so much oh let's go on to foundation this is the Espa pro taylor foundation and i'm using 20w at least I'm using that now. I think I could go down in color shade, but honestly, I just like the I like the tan look and I can't wait for the sun to come out again so that I can actually get some color. This is how it looks. I'm really not going to use much. Now I'm just going to damp the sponge a little bit with a mist. So guys, do you like what I have done with my hair? <laughs> I feel like I um, am a mix between TikTok baby and 90s baby, but my friends don't like when I call myself 90s baby because technically I am a 90s baby, but I, I grew up in the 2000s. I mean, I was two when 90s ended. So um, I'm sorry, guys. I know all of my friends are extremely old. <laughs> Let me like zoom you a bit in so you can see. Can you see like the difference? I really did not apply a lot of product and my skin is already like smoothed out the like um, complexion a lot. It's really, really cool. Oof, yes. With the same sponge, I'm gonna go in and blend in some concealer. This is from Dear Dahlia and uh, I received it maybe last month. They are so good. Like they are, they have this, they just stay on the same all day and they really brighten up the under eye area really well. Does not crease a lot. It's just, I don't know, I really love this concealer. Like any other person who follows all the mask rules, I have a little bit of breakout throughout the mouth. And uh, if you don't have breakout throughout the mouth, it can only mean one of two things. You are genetically blessed with your skin or you're not wearing a mask. If you're one of the latter, wear a goddamn mask, please. That is such a natural brightening effect. Like, 
fan break. <sighs> Let me set my foundation and my concealer with some powder. This is uh, Dear Dahlia. It's a powder. It is called Blooming Edition Skin Paradise Soft Focus Shine Control Powder. Holy shit, these names are really long. <laughs> Just under here. There we go. Base is done, I think. We are gonna go into eyebrows first and then head on to like contour and such. And for eyebrows, I am gonna use the Pony Effect Eyebrow Pencil here. This is called um, Sharping Brow Definer. My personal tip, if you wanna do very natural, those these days are very popular, like like bushy, kind of flowy, lifted brow look. The like best way to do it is with an eyebrow pencil like this that's so thin. I like to start here and do like zoop, 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 zoop. Excuse the sound effects, guys. <laughs> I didn't realize I was doing that. <laughs> Literally just drawing on fake hairs, I suppose. And then I like to fix the lower bottom line. And then the middle. Look, I only did that little and it's already like fixed the shape a lot better. I like to elongate the line a bit here. Ooh. Ooh <laughs> I need to find another way to sit because my feet are sleeping. Ugh. Oh, I feel like an old lady. Oh, oh that's way better. Ooh. Wake up! Let's go into contouring. This is the Art Class by Rodin powder that I am always using. And the reason why I'm always using it is because it has the three different colors. You can kind of like mix and match depending on if you do nose contour or cheek contour or what. So guys, I was extremely hungover yesterday. I don't usually like to flag around with that because it's not a good thing, it's not a healthy thing. At least I had fun the day before. But the reason why I was so hungover was because I was filming and recording a podcast episode with my friend Esna. And if you guys don't already know, her show is called Not So Clashy, and uh, you can find it both on YouTube and in Spotify and such. I will be sure to try to link it down below. My episode's gonna come out in the middle of September, so probably around my birthday, which is the 12th, by the way. <laughs> the whole point with the podcast is that we talk very real and we talk about a lot of very sexual stuff and we get very very personal honestly i really want to be a person who promotes that that uh, talking about sex and talking about your sexuality and what you like what you don't you know making it not a taboo is really really important so that is why i decided to go through with it and actually record the podcast because we're drinking while we play this game and we are really getting into some very 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 colorful details about our sex lives and about intimacy and guys and girls and uh, I think there's something that I've never said out loud before that I'm saying in that show oh god what did I do that <laughs> that I'm saying on that show so if you guys are interested I definitely think that you should uh, look out for it and keep updated on my Instagram because I will definitely post when it comes out I am really getting down and dirty <laughs> with the talk um, yeah, it was so fun to record, but obviously we got super drunk and then we went out to drink more after and I don't know, it was so fun. You should definitely watch it. I'll be taking a little uh, smaller brush now and just dipping it into the middle color of the palette. And then we go into some nose contouring right here. I'm also just taking the same color and making that as my base on my eyes, actually. I do that just to create the shadow. Fan break. <sighs> God. I'm kind of sad about how this frame kind of cuts me because you can't see the cute hair that I did. <laughs> For the cheeks, I want to go in with right now. I want to go in with this color from Dear Dahlia. This is called Secret Rin... Rendezvous something something French the cheek color is brown and it actually looks so cute when you put it on let me show you guys because god I, this color is so pretty I would never have been thinking of using brown as a blush before but yeah, look at that look at that so cute 
And I love this product since you can literally just blend it in with your finger and it looks so cute. Ah, oh, cream brushers are the best. So I want to just take a little bit on my finger like this, blend it in so we don't have a lot. And then I'm going to lightly touch my nose for a little bit color. But kind of cute, right? Like, like I'm, I'm kind of like TikTok, TikTok-y right now, right? Hi. You're the kid from TikTok, bitch. I hate TikTok. I can't sleep because I have TikTok songs stuck in my head and then I go to bed at 3 a.m. watching TikToks for several hours and then I wake up and then I get too late out of bed because I'm watching TikTok for more hours. I feel like, and this is a lot coming from me, but I use more time on TikTok these days than I do on Instagram and I still have only posted two videos since I opened it up again. That kind of reminds me of that other TikTok that says, it's okay, boo-boo, you can watch. <laughs> If anyone watches TikTok, they probably know what I'm talking about. But if you're not, congratulations. Please don't fall into the hole. You will never get out of it again. Anyways, guys, I got four eyeshadow palettes that you probably saw. If you saw my last video, you saw these palettes. But not that I opened them. But they're really, really pretty. Also from Dear Dahlia. I'm just gonna figure out which one to use. So this palette is the Mesmerizing Moment Collection Palette in Angelic Nude. And... It is, as it says, a little bit of a nude colors with some purple-ish shades in it. I'm gonna firstly dig into this darker one and just creating a little bit of a crease look on my eyes. I try to blend it a little bit in over here, leaving the mobile lid a little bit more free of color. I feel like I got the color down that I wanted right now. It looks very subtle, a little bit reddish actually, which works very, very well with green eyes. And that's why I love to um, wear these kind of colors. I'm so I have to make this face. I literally have to. Sorry. I'm going to go in with another palette. And this one is the Golden Goddess. And they have... A little bit stronger colors. Um, they have this really beautiful matte red color that one day I really want to play with, but that's not today, honey. Um, I'm gonna go in with the matte, very dark brown color, almost black actually. This is like an angled brush. It's gonna be really easy to draw an eyeliner on with that. But the key is as well to see like what direction does your eyelashes point in. That's a really nice way to kind of measure what way your wing should go. Another stroke here. Then with whatever remains that are on the brush, I'm gonna push it out just to blend out this edge, like this side of the line a little bit. I wanna go in with the first palette as well um, from the Angelic Nude and just uh, go in with this shimmer one here. That is so pretty, right? So if we go back to that whole conversation about that podcast and the fact that I want to open up more about sex life and like sexuality and such. I feel like it's very important that we talk about these kind of things and make each other comfortable talking about those things. But I also know that this YouTube channel might not be the right platform for that. I mean, first of all, YouTube is my full-time job and YouTube will for sure demonetize 90% of that kind of content. Hold on, stop right there. I'm gonna quickly go in with the mascara. This is also from Dear Dahlia. I swear this video is not sponsored by Dear Dahlia, it's sponsored by Basic. <laughs> what I was saying was, I would actually love to make a podcast and I've been wanting to do that for a long time. I loved speaking and I love like communicating and talking to people. I love voicing my opinion. It's literally one of my hobbies. It's to tell people what I think about certain stuff. <laughs> Uh, I'm a Virgo, it makes sense, right? Yeah, so I really want to do that and YouTube is just not the platform for an hour-long video where you just sit down and talk. People don't want to watch that. They want to listen to that while they're riding the bus or something. And so that's why I really want to do a podcast. I want the whole point of the podcast to make stuff that is currently taboo, that really should not be taboo, I want to make that something that we're comfortable speaking about because I'm comfortable speaking about everything, literally everything. So we're going to talk about, you know, female body, our period, sex life, sexuality, um, dealing with parents, like those kind of stuff. Where is my spoolie? Those, where is it? I want to do those kind of stuff, guys. Let's go back in with the thin eyebrow pencil here and draw on some uh, little freckles. 
This is from Dear Dahlia as well. God, what is this? Like 80% Dear Dahlia? How about this wand? Tickles so much because it's like a hard wand. Oh, it tickles. I tried to overline a little bit. Did it work? I think I just want to go in a little bit with this Prism Air from Clio. So we just shimmer up this baby a little bit. And don't forget the tip for the TikTok look. So here we have the final look of uh, the makeup, guys. This is literally what I have been wearing a lot these days. Obviously, minus the lipstick because why even bother when you're wearing a mask? Now I think it's time to go to uh, the Sephora. I mean, I went last week, but you're gonna see that now. So thanks again so much to Basic for sponsoring this video. And uh, definitely you guys should check it out. It's a brand that I've been using for a while. See you guys at Sephora. <laughs>
Okay guys, so I'm here with a worker from Sephora and I think before we get started I just have to point that we both took off the mask, of course we would usually wear it but since there's not a lot of people and we think it's better that you can see our faces uh, we took them off for the interview but first off, can you introduce yourself to my followers? <laughs> first of all, I think everyone is by now aware that Beijing is a clean and sustainable and vegan brand. Of course, you guys know what vegan means, but what exactly does Beijing do that makes it a clean brand? Oh, that's great. I think all of these things are stuff you definitely should be looking out for when you're looking for a good brand to start off with. So obviously here in Sephora there's a lot of different beauty brands and it can be kind of confusing if you come in here and you don't really know what to choose. So if people want to come in here and they're looking for a, a, a product from Beijing, what would you recommend them? <laughs> so one of the things that I think makes Beijing really unique from other uh, vegan and sustainable brands in Korea right now is the fact that they have coffee bean as the main ingredient. But for the people who don't know what the benefits of that is, can you please explain? Coffee bean is first of all a natural function. It's really important to have 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 a natural function. 일단 카페인이 들어가 있잖아요. 카페인 하면 보통은 잠이 안 온다 이렇게만 생각하시는 분들이 있는데 이제 피부의 메타볼리즘을 되게 활성화를 시켜줘요. 그렇기 때문에 피부 재생도 도와주고요. 장기적으로 계속 사용하셨을 경우에는 바디 같은 경우에는 셀룰라이트 제거 효과도 있어요. Wow, that's so interesting. Um, thank you so much for coming and answering some questions. I hope that this was helpful to you guys. If we are regenerating oil, we can meet with Sephora in Minnie's size. Please come and meet with us. Wow, <laughs> that's so great. <laughs> Of course, you know, all of these products are vegan and they really focus on sustainability and, you know, doing something good for the planet. So I really, really, really recommend this brand. It's really nice. 